You take a 33-year-old man and a 22-year-old woman. Put them together. What do you got? Perfect love. Perfect love. On Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, garbage Day 2020. Is that the year this is? I don't have a fucking clue. Uh, my name is Boots Rangier. We are on our second hour of a 24-hour marathon raising money for the National Network of Abortion Funds. Uh, I am here with Lemon. Hi! Frank West. Hey, it's me. Jimmy Franks. Hi there. John Toast. I'm still not a ghost. J.W. Friedman. I'm here twice. Twice. And J.W. Friedman. Yeah, <laughs> um, I got a leftover. I got a leftover bug from last year, uh, where the sixth person in the list uh, doesn't quite show up. But if I put a seventh person in, they get in there twice. It's a very strange one. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're here. I'm gonna have to fix Spooks' stream because I'm looking. This looks like we're looking at a YouTube preview here at the moment. Um, so uh, we're looking at Reddit. 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 Uh, yeah, we're the battery. We're coming back. Reddit. We're, we're coming back to slash r slash relationships. Uh, this is a document brought to us by Puppy Time. Thank you, Puppy Time. Puppy Time. Uh, and uh, Lemon, could you lead off? Oops. Perfect lead off. Yep. Uh, uh, first thing, in the document. It's uh, boy by Gabe Funyan. Jesus. Uh, uh, Gabe Funyan. Fuck. Uh, MVP on that name. Okay. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> uh, so a girl, 23 year old female, I, 21 year old male, went on a date with, made some very hurtful remarks about me and my sword and weapon collection and my oh, martial arts. Shit. <laughs> That has been likes and shared on Facebook dozens of times. Do I demand an apology, period? <laughs> Slap her with a glove. <laughs> Challenge her to a duel. Uh, um, that's, yeah. I'm sorry. Continue. No, that's all, that's all I had. That's all I had. That was my, that was my OP. Oh. Well, this is a rainy reminder. You really, really don't want to demand an apology, dude. If you thought the vague book status about your collection got some hurtful comments, this one's going to be a thousand times worse. Let it go and maybe find a new Starbucks. Oh, <laughs> oh uh, so the document has uh, has a full text to this, Lemon. Oh, okay. Uh, so please please that. read from the document. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For some reason, they removed this. Yeah, for some reason, for some <laughs> reason they were embarrassed about know. this, and it went away, so... Okay, so there's a so, so quick, just a quick background about me. Uh, I'm a black belt in Shorin Ryu Karate. <laughs> oh. and a blue belt in Aikido. I've always been fascinated with swords and ancient weapons, so I have an extensive collection of all kinds of weapons. I know it's not for everyone, but it's what I like, and I'm proud of my knowledge and collection. I Do you finally... have dub chuck skills? Do you have cool bow staff skills? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I finally got like the reference. nerve to ask out this really cute girl named, quote, Tiffany, unquote. <laughs> <laughs> so presumably the pop singer. Uh, who works at Starbucks, I go to just about every day. Oh, she said yes. And we went and saw a movie. She seemed really oh, into me. Yeah. And I was shocked when she said she wanted to go back to my apartment. I was very happy to oblige her. Well. We got in, and she saw all the weapons displayed on my wall. <laughs> and I could tell it freaked her out a bit. <laughs> uh, I went to hold her hand, and she pulled away and said she forgot she had to work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, Tiffany. Oh, Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany MPP. <laughs> oh, shit, I forgot. I'm at work right now. Oh, I I forgot I have to earn money to live. <laughs> Goodbye. Um. Uh. Oh, yeah. So, so I offered her a ride, and she said she'd get an Uber. I asked what was wrong, <laughs> and she said basically she thought I was nice, but we were into different things. And sorry. 
Yeah. Now, now, oh. Tiffany, let's not throw out the baby with the bat left. <laughs> <laughs> like it. Like it. I like it a lot. So I let her get an Uber. <laughs> Like she pulled up the app, she said call Uber, and then I pulled out my app and I said approve. Um, and was like, damn, but that's how things go. Next day on Facebook, I got five different messages from friends saying, Is this about you? Yeah, I did. The thing we figured out is we have several friends and several friends in common. Mm -hmm. The post was note to guys. Just because you're busy studying the blade doesn't mean a girl is going to be impressed with your dipshit collection. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, come on the F+. Plus. <laughs> <laughs> By the time I looked at it, it had been like, like 12 times and commented on even more. As you can guess, none of the comments were nice. Aww. What right do I have to confront her about this and maybe demand an apology? Oh, my God. Oh, that's not the right last sentence here. <laughs> oh, no. <Yeah. laughs> that's, I will not learn from my mistakes. Who, who would have thought this guy's uh, dangerously <laughs> uh, unhinged? TLDR, the same thing. Uh, <laughs> well, thanks, murderer. You're welcome. Uh, hey, Jay. Hello. Uh, you've, got, you've got a question here. Yes, well, um, I'm a big cheese sandwich. That's my name. And uh, I, 25 male, never actually asked anyone out, but I've got a huge crush on the cashier, 24 female, at the donut shop. Don't ask me how I know her exact age, even though I've never asked anyone out. Please. It's okay. awkward. Okay. All right. I have recently gotten out of a bad relationship where my ex fell in love with another guy. Wait. Mm, mm, <laughs> interesting. Okay. Hey, I confronted heart my heart ex heart. about her friend because I saw a few pictures I shouldn't have seen. She dumped me quickly. No more talking about getting married, having a house, etc. She just threw me away like that, like like trash that she no longer needed. We were together for five years, so I've been feeling depressed as hell, down in the dumps, spiraling Aww. into self-hatred and soul-crushing loneliness. Aww. My heart is on fire, and I've felt like dying. My heart is on fire. <laughs> this bed is on fire with passion and love. <laughs> oh, Tiffany. <laughs> the neighbors complain about your sword collection. <laughs> but she only comes when she sees swords. <laughs> the other day, my best friend decided to take me to a new donut shop. That's. <laughs> to the donut shop! Alright, sorry. My best friend decided to take me to a new donut shop, and that's where I met her. I ordered my food quickly, but I couldn't take my eyes off her. I didn't say anything to her besides my order. While talking to my friend, I glanced at her. We looked at each other from across the shop, and she quickly looked away. Obviously, that means nothing. I was the only young guy in a crowd of older construction work. <laughs> <laughs> But that felt like a ray of sunshine in my otherwise shitty mood. Now I ask you, I've never actually asked anyone out. I don't have many friends that are girls, and I met my ex on a dating website. I don't have much experience with the opposite sex besides making fun of myself and spilling word spaghetti everywhere. <laughs> oh, mom, spaghetti. Hell, I don't even <laughs> smile because I'm self-conscious about my buck teeth. Something is telling me to ask her out like this strong yearning that won't stop. But I'm afraid mm. that I'm going to fuck this up horribly. You, good news. You already have. <laughs> <laughs> TLDR, social awkward guy, wants to ask the cute cashier out after getting dumped by cheating ex. How does he know she's 24? Uh, hey, Toast, take, uh, take Luna. Well, he hasn't talked to her, but Luna it doesn't mean he hasn't talked to her. I, I That's am the response, yeah. I am Luna. You can introduce yourself, give her a compliment about her, a piece of jewelry she is wearing that looks nice on her or her shoes, if she has non-work shoes that look nice. Huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if she's not wearing those two things, then fuck it, I don't know. Something she bought that reflects her taste, not her face or eyes or anything like that. It's more personal and less creepy. And then give her your already written down phone number and tell her you would like to text if she is interested and that you wouldn't mind getting to know her. 
Then tell her to have a good day and hope for the best. Don't hound her and don't go in every day. She may text you, she may not. She may be in a relationship. Just play it cool. Then if you go in there again another day, you can just say hello, but don't hound her on why she hasn't texted if she didn't. Just be casual and don't get creepy. Wow, I'm I am way more uh <laughs> I am way more sane than I expected to be. All right. Okay, well, I'm a big cheese sandwich has a response to this. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, oh, good. Hey, yeah, I am. So, uh, that sounds good, but I could compliment the donuts. <laughs> they were pretty good. She had a cute hairstyle. I don't know if I could compliment that without looking creepy. If I had my number written down already and I told her I'd like to text, I mean, would that be creepy? Uh, huh, uh, well... Uh, the donuts wouldn't really be a great compliment. Uh, if she is wearing earrings or wears glasses, that would be great. And then I... Let's see. <laughs> if she has anything small like that, then her hair would be a good step down. But don't compliment her body. That turns girls away super fast. An already written down number is an easy way to hand it to her so she takes it. She might be shy, stop to write it down, so you may want, not want to take it. Having it already written down kind of shows that you were interested enough to have done it with purpose. Showing that you do like her. That's why you pair it with a nice compliment and tell her to have a nice day, then walk away with your donut. That way she has control over what happens next, but was never creeped out. As for the number, just jot it on a napkin or a sticky note. Don't hand her a giant piece of paper with it. Something small and cute. No, oh, I'm, I'm a way better person. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm not. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Ah, that, that sounds a lot more easier than I was thinking. It'd be kind of like handing out a note during grade school. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, uh, sure. I honestly don't know anything about her. Didn't see anything that I could have complimented her on. I'm not the kind of person that would make a creepy comment about the body, but she did have a great smile that stuck with me, although I feel that would be creepy. But how do I give her the written down napkin with my phone number? I have a feeling that I would talk about the donut. <laughs> the donut. <laughs> and the opportunity would never arise, and I'd leave with my napkin and my donut. Talk to me about your donut. <laughs> hey, donut good number. Uh... Uh... Hey, Fake West. That's me. Uh, you've got a dilemma. Uh, well, that's true. But not that dilemma. Yeah, your, dilemma. your name is Throwaway24879. Because there's been a lot of throwaways on Reddit for some reason. <clears throat> me, 30 male, with my GF slash X, 30 female, 3.5 years. She kicked me out a month ago. I'm proposing today. Nervous. <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent. I know, I know you didn't want me to live with you, but counter offer, live with me forever. You don't have to live with me to be married to me, so we can work that out later. <laughs> Lived together three years. Very loving relationship. Mm -hmm. But a lot of aggression on her end sometimes when stressed caused a lot of friction and communic communicational distance between us. My job was also a source of stress. Several times close to closing high five figure entries lately I was following through in the end. Uh, just so you know, I'm cool and rich, so it's not my fault that any of this happened. I'm a software salesman. I just closed a million dollar deal. <laughs> <laughs> I was also not always the cleanest, and she was not sometimes the most empathetic with me. <laughs> So really, at both people, I was a filthy piece of shit, and she didn't forgive me for it. So there's a lot of fault on both sides. Um, that said, many good things. I don't have any of those, but that's... <laughs> they're not in the post for some reason. I don't know. I didn't have room. I guess there's a text limit. Uh, she kicked me out a month ago over cheating allegations and aggression. Not true on my end. Uh, I believe that. <laughs> There were many, many things to work on. But this is my last ditch effort to establish communication. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. I thought you'd at least make it up a little first. I don't like how she has treated me at times for a while. But if I get a resounding no, then I'm free to move out of the country and pursue my own dreams that don't include. Holy shit. Marry <laughs> me or I'm leaving the country. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Uh, I have no idea what she will say, but I know she loves me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Later. See ya. I know she loves me. So if I say no, you'll leave forever? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, really? She's already uh, kicked out of the house, so the, the ultimatum is marry me or I'll go farther away. <laughs> <laughs> nope, no, 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 Panama. Back. 
<laughs> I may come back to r slash relationships if she says yes or no with some honest reflection about the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get on Reddit. <laughs> uh, uh, if, she to, sorry. Nope. if she is to say yes, the relationship is in shambles and many things need to be worked on to have a chance. I do believe we have a chance, though. <laughs> I'm literally going to find out where she is and ninja propose. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I've never, I've never just learned about a term and then been so disgusted by it immediately. <laughs> ninja propose. There is so, so many he's implications gonna, to that he's, term. He's going to drop from an air vent upside down by a rope and then <laughs> throw a note at her like a sh- no. shuriken. Oh, uh, just... Just like with hov- a t-shirt tied around his head hovering one foot over the floor <laughs> <laughs> I need an operation soon so if this doesn't work I'll get that done heal up and go live in another city <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of fucking operation are you getting is this a face off situation <laughs> <laughs> if she says no I'm just going to change my whole identity full plastic surgery <laughs> TLDR, proposing to a girl I lived a tumultuous, strong relationship with for three years, been out of the apartment for one month. She won't return my calls. All right, I, dude, no. <laughs> no. I think we can do much better with communication, and she has asked about this in the past. Mm-hmm. So in my defense, she mentioned marriage once or twice, maybe. Uh, if this doesn't work, I'm moving to other places for a few months. I want to take bets on whether his plans without her involve Bitcoin or not? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, so that was the the first section of the document that's titled In Which Redditors Date. We're going to move on to section number two, which is called In Which Redditors Have Sex Lives. Oh, boy. And uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they're very healthy. Great, great. I just wanted the most recent donation from Deep 13. Uh, puppy Time apparently is at work for this hour, but hopefully is listening to this at work. <laughs> uh, my name is Embarrassed GF. Mm. Yeah. I, 26F, am having trouble dealing with slash taking my boyfriend's 25M kink, in quotes, seriously. It just makes me feel ridiculous. Ooh. This is a, not only is that the title, it's a locked post. Hmm. (laughs) Is this going to have something to do with penis health? (laughs) (laughs) Well, let's find out. So to start off, my relationship with my boyfriend is great. I don't like punctuation. We have been dating just over two years, and he is a great guy. He is super fucking handsome, like straight up out of my league, kind, Ooh. understanding, sexy, pretty much the whole package. Okay. We get we get a long great. We get a <laughs> our great is the longest. <laughs> Honey, I got you a long great. <laughs> Ooh, my favorite donut. Did you get it from that girl at the shop? <laughs> And I'm sorry it took so long. There was a guy in front who would not stop throwing napkins with his numbers on him. <laughs> she was basically, she was, it was like she was in a pile of leaves at the end. It was really weird. He kept calling it ninja proposing. I don't know what that was all. Uh, we share pretty much everything with each other. Well, I have a few kinks when it comes to the bedroom, and it took me about a year before I was comfortable explaining them to my boyfriend. He was super understanding about it and very eager to help me fulfill my fantasies. And everything has been great. I asked him uh, what he was into since he helped me out so much. I only want to repay the favor, but he was very shy about it. It took months of convincing me, convincing from me to telling him. Well, guy, it took months of convincing from me telling me that I wouldn't judge him and I Ooh. wouldn't be down no matter what. Ooh. Boy, that's, boy, yeah. GF. maybe that's not a road that you need to travel. Literally yeah. anything. No, I can, what? I can, I consider myself very open-minded. What are you into? I don't want to tell you. <laughs> no, seriously, no, really, you don't want to tell me. <laughs> Some well, lines must not be crossed. <laughs> There's no going back. <laughs> well, a few months ago, he finally relented and told me what he was into. In terms of sex, it's actually super vanilla. I don't really want to explain it, but it's more along the lines of role play than a specific straight up sex act. Oh, he wants to wear a cop costume. (laughs) No, you don't. But keep going. (laughs) To keep this short, we tried it a few weeks ago and he really loved it, but I just felt stupid as hell. 
I feel so guilty about it because I know it's really harmless and I sort of forced him to tell me and now I don't really know what to do. It's not something I'm, I'm uncomfortable with in terms of not wanting to do, but I'm just not comfortable since I feel super embarrassed. I feel like an idiot doing it. I don't really know how to break it to my boyfriend since she is since he is super into it and he has done much weirder shit slash outside of his comfort zone for me. What should I do? Oh edit. my god. Oh edit. my god. Edit. 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 You got to build, 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 build to it. You got to. Yeah. Since I am getting so many messages to just explain what it is, it kind of varies a little, but the gist of it is that he is a pilot of a oh giant robot, God. like in the movie Ooh. Pacific Rim. Who uh... <laughs> 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 has returned from battle or something similar. I am supposed to be either another female pilot slash a civilian or any number of other things. <laughs> I'm a pilot of a giant robot. You're like uh, <laughs> Tiffany, I guess. From the donut shop. <laughs> <laughs> I treat him like a war hero or something and tell him how sexy I find him <laughs> or how he saved the world or something. He asked me to only call him by his call sign, which I will not repeat here. Oh, oh, fucker God. one. Fucker one. <laughs> Reporting for duty, sir. Sometimes we have sex, and it is at the barracks or his personal quarters. <laughs> or other times he will make me pretend we have fucking... We have fucking... <laughs> mm, we, Houston, we have fucking. <laughs> We're making fuck. Uh, we have fucking in the cockpit, cockpit of his robot. He calls it a mecca. Yeah. Yeah. For, <laughs> for complete transparency, since some be- <laughs> That's scientifical. <laughs> since some people were asking what he does for me, my kinks run along the lines of light BDSM slash being tied up slash water sports slash anal slash toys, etc. More on the line, the lines of specific acts where we are still ourselves. Less about role playing as other people, which is where I find it difficult to grasp. And then a TDLDR where I TLDR it. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to. Uh, Spooks has been drawing the uh, the ninja proposal. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Cutting your hand off and then jamming a ring on it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jimmy Franks. Yes. Uh, can you be Mother Flippin' Rhyme, which is the next Heck post yeah. of the duck? Uh, yo, 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 what, what is, is that? What is that? This is your boy, Mother Flippin' Rhyme. This shit better rhyme. (laughs) Uh, The girl, 24F, I'm 25M, (laughs) dating wants me to engage in her fetish. Bear with me. I started dating this wonderful girl two months ago. We share very common interests. We love being around each other. When I first started dating her, she mentioned that she did have an odd fetish. I was thinking, oh, she's probably into BDSM or something like that. But she asked if I'd be willing to try it, and I'm thinking that it wouldn't be too weird. said, sure, but let's get to know each other first, okay? You know, like a sex-crazed idiot. Anyway, we date. Everything goes great. We have sex a good bit. Hmm? Oi. Hmm? Uh, I haven't really been sexually active until now, but it's going good. The other day, she mentioned something to me about the fetish. I'd forgotten about it, and so I asked her what she had in mind. <clears throat> she told me she likes anal and fecal play. Oh, oh, <laughs> Wait, hold oh, 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 oh. Can we rewind oh, wow. just back to the kaiju guy instead? <laughs> I, bet you, I bet you're wondering how I got myself in this situation. This is the kaiju guy. This is what she wanted. <laughs> no, as in my anal and her fecal. <laughs> what? What? No. <laughs> right. <laughs> Wait, are we putting her her poop in your butt? <laughs> now, hold Back up. Back and forth forever. <laughs> it's only like it's just four. <laughs> now, I'm not saying... Oh, well, oh we're going to do that, are we? Now, I'm not saying people like that are bad, but it has made me see her in a different light. I told her no. She said, but you said, and we got aggravated at one another. The dust settled and we chilled out. But the other day, I saw little baggies of her turds in the freezer. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Now, um, 
what? what? What toast? What's the problem? Uh, no, 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 no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Go ahead. No, I'm concerned. I'm concerned. This was just chocolate frosting for your cake, okay? <laughs> Hold on. No. Oh, my gosh. I'm concerned that either she's getting her fix somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's she's storing she's storing up her poops to put in somebody else's butt. <laughs> Whose turds are these? Are these Trevor's turds? I don't <laughs> want to smell your dick. <laughs> <laughs> or she's going to force me to do that with her. Look, I like her a lot. I'm emotionally invested in her. This has caused me to take a step back. Should I just grin and bear it or should i call the relationship off Ugh, tldr gr girls on fetish is turning me off should i break it off with her <laughs> even yeah. though i like her a lot could break it off with her be interpreted as what she's after <laughs> <laughs> no don't break it off it all has to stay together <laughs> you're gonna ruin the symmetry yeah hey uh lemon yeah what's up uh or should i say throw darius away Oh yeah! What throw have you got to say? Yeah, I'm fuck Hootie. Well, I already like you, and I'm sure I'm going to keep liking you. <laughs> My 23 year old male brother, 27, asked me to be his best friend, but I'm scared because of fetish. Oh no! <laughs> and that's enough of that joke. Anyway, <laughs> every time I read Reddit, I go blind. <laughs> How many Hootie songs do you know, John Tos? <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Oh, back to do a quarter. <laughs> Wait, I didn't know if you said indie. I didn't know if you said indie or hootie, and I was like, I know a lot of both. I think. So I'm. Uh, so I'm. Uh, yes, as I said, my 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 brother of 23 years old. Uh, he asked me to be his best man, but I'm scared because of the fetish. To start off, I'm incredibly honored that he asked me to fill this role. I know he has at least a dozen friends that he could have chosen. My first more easily overcome problem, there's a comma, with accepting is that I have I have fairly severe social anxiety, but with enough prep, I think I can overcome it. The second, I don't know if this is worth mentioning, but you know, somewhat unique issue that I face is that I have an intense fetish regarding suits. Oh no. <laughs> it's, like, it's like getting a boner in front of the whole class, but it's so much worse. <laughs> Not capitalized, but it's not the Meghan Markle show either. <laughs> okay, so uh, regarding suits, I've avoided them like the plague my entire life because I'm guaranteed to have unexpected erections if I'm wearing one. Does he not wear underwear or like, what's the deal? I am confused. Well, that's where, okay, so so I figured out where the cummerbund goes, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> Spin that thing around and then just lift the balls over it. Um, uh, I'd really like to accept the role, but I don't want to mess up his wedding. TLDR, the same thing. Just Aside for the best man's toast. <laughs> Wait, why has he got a giant boater? Hey, uh, John Toast, can you take a deleted as a response? I'd just like to uh, wish you the best. Um, just so oh. overcome by emotion. No, no, no. You, were, you, just, you just wanted to ask me how my problem started. Well, um, original poster, can you explain this problem? Like, how it all started? Okay, yeah. So, it's basically a phobia turned fetish. When I was young, and today to some extent, I had an unexplainable fear of certain small weird things, like candy wrappers or buttons. Uh, I guess it's what? some sort of weird psychological subdom thing because I'm really into like things like BDSM too. So I explained your question, right? <laughs> Asked an answer. Um, <laughs> that makes perfect Throw sense. Me away. Yeah. I only want to be with you. Yeah, totally clear. <laughs> totally clear. Hey Jay. Yeah. Uh, next post in the document, uh, if you're following along. I am. Uh, I, I guess you're anonymous. Ah, uh, well, yeah. I have to be because I, 25 female, have a horribly embarrassing, complicated, and weird fetish. <laughs> How do I approach this with my potential partner, 28 male? God bless the anonymity of the internet. So for a long time, I've kind of been working on myself after a long breakup and realizing the things that I want, the things that I like, the things that turn me on, etc. The thing is, I've started seeing a guy that I really like. We share a lot of common interests and 
all of that jazz. You know, yeah. we're both really into Ornette Coleman. Um, but one <laughs> thing that I have come to realize somewhat shamefully is that I have a really, really odd fetish, and I'm super embarrassed to tell him about it. And this is completely real and not posted by a man for sexual edification. Uh-huh. Anyway. Uh-huh. Weird. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. For context, posterity, and because it feels good to get it off my chest, here it is. Okay. Are you ready? I'm sexually turned on by certain scenes in Shakespeare. It's not not like every scene ever. I have like a specific list in my head of the scenes and the scenarios that are just so hot, it really, really turns me on to think of doing them with a partner and just, you know, going at it. Like when the teenagers kill themselves? Is that the one? I think that's the one, yeah. Maybe when the guy talks to a skull. Oh, oh that's <laughs> super hot. <laughs> Oof. The issue is like, how do you oh. bring that up? Do I hand him a highlighted <laughs> script and say, you've got 20 minutes to memorize this. See you in the bedroom. <laughs> yeah. I actually think I'd be yeah. cool with that. I don't yeah, know. <laughs> Secondly, this guy doesn't know anything about acting or Shakespeare. And listening to someone <laughs> butcher the text would be like the biggest turn off ever. Well, you're, well obviously... Obviously, need you need to have an undress rehearsal. Turn me on with a Shakespeare play. It sounds like a Taskmaster episode. <laughs> <laughs> Undressed rehearsal. That that slipped under the radar, and it was great. Okay, if it were something I'd never heard of being fetishizing before i wouldn't be so embarrassed but i've never heard of anyone sharing this shall we say a certain interest in a sexual way before so i don't know how to deal with this does anyone have an advice or a friend with a like interest the tldr is to be honest or not to be honest that is the question oh <laughs> like the thing <laughs> Amazing. And also the excruciating punchline. All right. Party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I am slain. I bite my thumb at you, sir. Oh, no, I bite my thumb at you, good sir. <laughs> out, out, damn spot. <laughs> On damn spot. Hey, uh, Frank West. That's me. Uh, the last one in the section. Hey! <laughs> uh, Holt, AF, Holt AFD uh, with $102 says, I love Garbage Day. And you know what, Holt? Seeing as how it's only hour two, me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly the best day of this year. Yes. Well, okay, yes. That's, that's definitely true. Uh, so, Frank West, uh, the, last, uh, the last item in this section, which was in which Redditors have sex lives, is by Throw It Away 880. Please throw read that away, for us. Oh, 880. A different throwaway. Yeah, this one's, this one's short and sweet. Ah, there it is. My 21 female boyfriend, 21 male of two years, has interesting fetish. I need help entertaining. Oh, hmm. right. Okay. My boyfriend has a fetish with my car breaking down. Okay, there's an entire <laughs> type for this. We've covered it. Specifically, <laughs> specifically with my tires. Is there an entire movie for this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seeing me with, like, a low tire or me getting a flat tire is kind of hot to him. Nice. Yeah. I think it's kind of interesting and want to tease him a little with it. I was wondering if anyone had any ideas or help. Mm-hmm. Is, your, is your tire flat? Is your... My, my, my favorite thing about that is that you close with the TLDR. Yeah. So you wrote two sentences. And then yeah. you're like, I know Reddit. That was a lot. <laughs> I know you want to post lol what. So let me help you with that. Yeah, the... The TLDR added 50% to the length of the post. <laughs> also, if you read the TLDR and don't read the rest, you might think this is about shoes. It's true. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when I get flats. Yeah, my boyfriend <laughs> likes me likes when I get flats. Looking for it to entertain that. Answer. Get some flats. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and our final section of the document is called Potpourri. Woo! So that's fun. Uh, I'm going to read a post by Get toes ex ghoul <laughs> my 35 male wife and daughter 13f and 30f oh dear is a way wait i think i think he's he's okay he's my, a okay I, I, okay okay so the wife is 13 and the daughter's 30 <laughs> if, 
I, I sure, uh, yes. In the order in which that. it's written, that's what it says. Yeah. TLDR, I possess a time machine. So me, yeah, me, I'm a 35-year-old man. My wife and my daughter are respectively 13 and 30. Oh, God. Uh, is there a way... Real quick, just the stream, the uh, Spooks is a uh, suit fetishist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Spooks. So good, Spooks. Uh, so my wife and daughter is away. Her flight is landing. I signed my son, 11 male, up for boxing when she told me not to. He has a black eye. How do I explain this to my wife? They they let eleven year olds box. Anyway, well, no, I lied and said he was thirty. Like my slide, like I lied about my daughter up there. Okay, maybe. We hi, so my wi- title and I already hate it. Anyways, <clears throat> yeah. Hi, so my wife is going to gut me alive. <laughs> she has been adamant about her son not playing sports where you punch each other. She thinks UFC <laughs> is stupid and over her dead body while he be training and fighting because he's punched her to death. <laughs> Sorry. He does not really like it either. It's just I saw him punching his boxing bag for a workout and he punches fast. So I talked him into so I talked him into boxing classes and he had a spar. He got a black eye during his class. My wife is going to fucking kill me. My son can't lie. He's an awful liar, especially to his mom. Not only is my son so shitty that he got a fucking black eye in his first class, but he also can't lie. Like level up. <laughs> yeah. Help hell yeah, help me either get my wife into punching thing into all this punchy stuff with kids or make my kid lie. <laughs> um Wait, he'll... sorry, he's an awful layer, actually. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Not an awful liar, an oh. awful layer. An awful layer. It's, layer it's that... filled with swords. <laughs> You better be a dragon, because this ain't no dungeon. (laughs) He'll say one thing and then come back with the truth two seconds later. I don't know what to do. Um... (laughs) Multibop. We are over the $2,000 uh, mark. Uh, Tornado, uh, $102. Thank you very much. And uh, Frank West and Nutshell Gulag um, uh, among the favorites are Ooh. absolutely my favorites. So Frank uh-huh. West and Nutshell Gulag are absolutely my favorites. That's certainly not something that hurts to read. Frank West and Nutshell Gulag <laughs> are absolutely... I'm going to fucking leave. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, they're oh, favorites of mine, too. Thank you. Thank you for that. I'm um, from West, and I love that you said that about me. Thank and then, you. I, and then I came back later to say he already told my wife about his eyes, so I'm screwed. <laughs> and then, uh, hey Frank West, you're gonna you're gonna take the Rick and Morty fan. Oh, I'm uh, I'm me six eighty two. Look at me, <laughs> Szechuan sauce, everybody. <laughs> Wubba lubba dub dub. Oh. Bazinga, that's from that show, right? <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I guess the thing it gets one too. Hey, everybody, I turned myself into a Redditor. <laughs> Should have taught him to listen better when they told him to keep his hands up. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That, that. <laughs> Positive press this donated fifty dollars, saying this donation is from my mom. Thank you, Positive mom. Thank you, Positive mom. Listen, little Mac, you got to keep those hands up and learn how to lie to your mom. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, hey, Jimmy Franks. Yeah. Uh, can you take "Girl Needs Meat"? Girl needs <laughs> meat. <laughs> Blue girl needs meat badly. <laughs> you didn't laugh at the manimal so joke, but all right. All right, here we go. Uh, me, 23 female, with my boyfriend, 25 male of 1.5 years, just moved in with him last month. He gives himself more meat than me? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I know the title sounds really weird, but this is driving me crazy. My boyfriend and I have been seeing each other for just under a year and a half, and we recently took the step to move in with each other. Great, right? 
He's a loving, caring guy who really looks out for my best interests most of the time, makes time for me, etc. But there's one annoying, annoying issue. When he cooks dinner, which is often, I'm not a very good cook and he's quite good at it. He'll dish out portions for us. However, he'll always give himself more meat than me. It's <clears throat> only meat. It's only meat. I usually end up with more vegetables and carbs because of this. This is a home improvement episode. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? or... For example, last night we had a beef stew dish with French bread. It was delicious, except that he gave himself at least four to five more chunks of beef than me. My dish had more vegetables than me. <laughs> Jokes for only us, I guess. <laughs> no. I appreciate it. And that. this has been happening with almost anything he cooks. Spaghetti and meatballs? He'll have two more meatballs. Roast chicken? His plate will have at least four ounces more. That's very specific. I weighed them. I know. <laughs> I, got out my, I got out my Coke scale. All right. I understand that he's the one cooking, so he should get to decide these things, but we split everything equally. Rent, groceries, utilities. I feel he's shortchanging me of my protein. I've asked him directly why he keeps giving me less meat than him. And he says he doesn't know and will stop. Then the next meal he cooks, bam, it happens again. Bam. Bam. I asked him if he bam. my boyfriend is Emerald Lagasse. I asked him if he thinks I'm fat. <laughs> 2271.98 and uh, the anonymous donator tried to get to, to, to a 69 number but was beat right before <laughs> it doesn't get us to xx69 i'm going to scream uh, a dream denied probably can't right. we did get to 69 though so we're good all right i asked him if he thinks i'm fat and he tells me not to be ridiculous so it can't be that either i've gotten into an argument several times with him he just confuses the entire time and keeps apologizing and says he'll give me more meat the next time i've gotten so sick of this that i've actually started eating out by myself during the week when he cooks but oh, I feel bad way, for leaving me. this one is for you anonymous 102 dollar donator ah! there you go <laughs> uh i just want some more meat damn it give me meat, <laughs> meat. <laughs> Girlfriend requires meat. There's a there's an easy solution to this, which would be like, why can't I portion my own food? <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, where does logic and Reddit meet? Good now? question. Very very good question. Just steal the fucking meat off his plate. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, just take those extra two meatballs and laugh. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, hey Jay. Yeah. Are, can you be Art Yom One Fifty? Uh, I can. Me, 17 male, with my mother, 54 female, wouldn't change shirt. Argument escalated. Ooh, there's a mystery here. Mm -hmm. Who wouldn't change their shirt? We're about to find out. <laughs> today's Mother's Day, so maybe I'm at fault here. But last night we agreed that I'd make breakfast today. So this morning I had trouble getting out of bed to go to the grocery store until around or approximately 10.30. We left around eleven, and oh, I got number. Oh, I, I saw the I saw the pot leaf with the plus twenty. Ooh, hey! <laughs> we left around eleven, and I got the stuff. Number. Ooh, the stuff. <laughs> I had also agreed to go to Best Buy and get her a replacement phone headset. So as we're leaving, a guy crossed over in front of us with a cart, and she made a comment about how he was gay because gay guys hate women. Mm. I called her on it, and mm. she responded mm. with, "You're gay." I guess this is, is all about mom a 13 year old boy from the <laughs> like, what's going on? <laughs> you're gay. <laughs> so just just to recap little gay dog. Hey, just to your mom. <laughs> just to recap, the problem is wouldn't change shirt. Let's yeah. continue. <laughs> not 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 that your mom is an awful homophobe. All right, anyway. I yeah. guess this is all my fault because that just was too far for my fucking mother to say. I responded with Fuck you! As we got to Best Buy, nice, it, nice. Yeah, yeah. That'll, that'll show her. That's what you came up with. <laughs> they didn't have a headset in stock, and when I got out, I saw she was gone. Later, it turned out she went to get some cigarettes. Of that old <laughs> <laughs> classic. <laughs> but no, I just are you Nelson months. <laughs> 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 but I just walked home because she has threatened to do so to me before, and she didn't tell me she planned on doing that at all. I got home, and I was pretty angry. 
Our argument escalated from there, and she ended up calling me a limp-wristed fuck and that I was acting like the bad F-word, which I personally will not say on the air, along with several comments that only the bad F-words wear orange. She found a headset she liked at Walmart and just wanted to be left alone. God, his mom is horrible. Like, uh, <laughs> Oblige her. Jesus. They do wear orange. Uh, early into this, Nutshell just wrote, dump your mom. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> Sever. Oh, she just repeated Sever. it again. Sever. <laughs> Sever. I tried to keep her out of my room, but she got in and threw her phone on the ground. Case broke, and that just made her angrier. She grabbed my keyboard and threw it as hard as she could into the ground, throwing a lit cigarette at me and attempted to break my monitor. At that point, I just broke down and started crying when she left the room. Uh, None of this has to do with a shirt. Huh. Well, it's an orange shirt. Oh, it's an orange shirt. Yeah, that's true. Those are incredibly Uh, offensive. Yeah, well, gay. I called my best friend, and her mom asked them to come and get me because I was extremely scared. I'm at their house now, and I've gotten several texts about how if I keep pushing like this, we're going to lose our house, and I'm going to end up in social services. God, yeah, this correct. this was uh, not funny at Sorry. all. This is really scary. Uh, apo- apologies. This one, this one was a real downer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, got five minutes. We, can, we can turn that ship around. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's... Uh... <laughs> I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. Okay. Let's... <laughs> About to make these rifles burst. Uh, who hasn't gone in a while? Jimmy Franks. Yeah, sure. Jimmy Franks. Uh, let's let's go let's go back up to the second section, which was a lot more fun. Uh... <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. After reading ahead, yes, please. <laughs> um, and you're gonna take a post by throwaway one one two four nine zero. Oh God! <laughs> well, that was on that one already. That oh, was, uh, actually, was pretty good. Yeah, so, did uh, we do this one? See. Nope. No. Oh, okay. Here we go. <clears throat> I, thirty-two male, feel like my wife, twenty-nine female is ignoring my needs in our sex life. Hi, slash relationships. For the last year or so, I feel like my wife is ignoring an important part of my being totally fulfilled in our sex life. Before we even began seriously dating, I confided in her that I have a nylon fetish. Mm. I told her that I enjoy wearing them, and Mm. I wanted her to wear them as well, especially for (laughs) S-E-X. Through, for, through, through some discussion, we arrived at what I thought was a fair compromise. I could not expect her to wear them every day, but she would wear them for me in the bedroom and indulge me sometimes when they are outfit appropriate and even as a means to subtle foreplay, even if they're under pants and shoes and cannot be seen. Just knowing she had them on just works for me. Sure, I wouldn't expect you to wear them every day. I only expect you to wear them in the bedroom and also other times and when you're expecting to be in the bedroom and then when you go to work, obviously... <laughs> in return, I asked her I asked her if, the, if there were any kinks or fetishes that I could work to satisfy on her end. She said, and has re- said repeatedly since, that there are not. So we went forward in the relationship. I figured that because she was in at the ground floor, things would be fine as we went along. She became hmm. my best friend, and I love her dearly. I could not imagine my life without her. I can't imagine what word's coming next. Now, I get zero love from her on the nylon fetish. From my perspective, I gave her the keys to the kingdom. She knows exactly. <laughs> oh, boy. Welcome to my yes. dick, my lady. You want heir to the legs empire. Yes. <laughs> All legs shall be covered, so say I. Most recent donation is fuck you, F plus cock the rub warriors rule. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She knows exactly what to do to turn me on and make me want to ravish her repeatedly, but she's never unilaterally pulled the trigger on it. Every once in a while, if I ask her or tell her it would be hot if she wore them, she will. But not once has she surprised me with them. From the beginning, it's always been a bit of a production to get her in them for sexy times, but she was willing to do it. It's gotten to the point that apart from not caring that I wear them, she acts like the fetish isn't a part of my sexual needs. I've had several discussions with her about it since, and every time she promises to play along, then does nothing about it. Every time I always include what I can be doing different or better as a conversational topic, but she never gives me anything I can change. 
Reddit. I adore my wife. But I'm beginning to wonder if I married a girl that I should have just been good friends with. I don't know what else to do, but my needs simply are not being met. What do I do here? Well, uh, F+. Plus. <laughs> I've never used the word sexy times again. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I think fetish is like to a lot. It's like, it's not my fault I have this fetish, so I have to do this thing. I think the guy with the suit... First time it's true. That's really not his fault, that situation. <laughs> <laughs> you know sort what? of. Sort of. <laughs> sort of. Well, but I, like, how, like, how, like, he, because he doesn't know how he got there. He doesn't know how he got, like, this, this, like, suit just makes me jizz all over everything. And there's, like, no way to not wear a suit there. So. No way to not wear a suit. There would obviously be other suits there. Uh, like, that. As- I have a similar oh, yeah. problem to that guy, whereas I have a uh, long-winded uncle speech uh, fetish. <laughs> <laughs> I have a dance to dad fetish, so yeah, weddings are really problematic. Oh man, I love drunk aunts. <laughs> I, love, I love drunk aunts who get so blitzed on Chardonnay that they're drooling at the end of the night. <laughs> well, I have a I have a people fucking up the electric slide finish, which, is like, <laughs> which I mean, you, you know, the the dance steps are in the song. You think it wouldn't, you think that wouldn't pay off, but you know. But they're so complicated. I gotta move. For- then I gotta move back. I thought I was done. What I have this. A, what is a cha cha? This is even worse than the Tootsie Roll. <laughs> I have this thing where I get really horny when I see people stand on the edge of a dance floor and like sort of pretend to dance. Oh. Mm. Well, I learned something about myself, which is uh, when Lemon asks me how many Hootie songs I know, I just lock up because there are too many. Like I couldn't. <laughs> My mind was flooded with information, and I just <laughs> I blanked. I like that, I like that uh, this document was actually the, one of the things I thought was successful about this document. Uh, thank you, Puppy Time. Sorry, you have to work during your hour, but um, but uh, but but intelligently done because uh, no Reddit response is worth a shit. So you might as well just do OPs and get out. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> that was not supposed to be a momentum killer, but it was. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> well, we didn't have anything else to say. So Coming to that, so we yeah, we, we we're all too impressed. I <laughs> only want to be with you. All right. Uh, uh, coming up in the next hour is somebody that uh, you might be looking forward to. He comes. He's by the name of Kumquat Sop, hmm. and he will bring, be bringing you the fart fetish episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I'm glad I missed that. <laughs> That's right, the fart fetish episode. Uh, I'm also in that one, as well as Adam Bozarth, Isfahan, John Toast, and Montrip. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, also, I wow. uh, want to give a very big applause to Spooks. Uh, Spooks, so good. Yes, just, thank you. Just so much fun to watch. Uh, Spooks is uh, is done with his session, and next up we've got Shell Game uh, for the next couple hours. Uh, so stick around. I'm not going to hit the button. Boots, you can go ahead and hit yep. the button. Stick around, and uh, we'll be bringing you fart fetish when you come back. Nice.